Hey guys, it's me Crystal from Marching North, and today I'm going to show you four patterns you can make with the Endless Falls Knot. First up is the basic Endless Falls Knot. Attach two lengths of cord to your dowel using lark's head knots, and then you're going to take the two outer cords and cross them in front, like this. Then you'll take the right inside cord and you're going to bring it up and over and through on the right side and just bring it through that loop. And then you're going to take the left cord and you're going to bring it up and over and pull it through the loop on the left side, like that. Then you just pull those two cords that were crossed over in the front to tighten it up and just adjust everything so it looks good. Then cross those two outer cords again in front. Bring the right inside cord up and over and through the loop. And then bring the left inside cord up, over, and through the left loop. Then pull the crossed over cords tight again to tighten it all up and adjust it. And that's all there is to it. You just keep repeating that over and over again until it's the length that you want. Once you've repeated the pattern a few times, this is how it'll look on the front. And then on the back, you get this really cool, almost knit looking effect. Next is the mystical chain knot. You're going to start with two pieces of rope attached to your dowel with lark's head knots. And then you're going to take the outer two cords and cross them behind the two inner cords. Hold them like that, and then you're going to take the right inner cord and bring it up behind and through the loop, like so on the right, and then you take the left cord and bring it up behind and through the left loop, and then tighten up the crossed cords. And then you take the outer cords and cross them again behind, and this time you're going to take the right one and you're going to bring it through the inside in the middle between the two inner cords. And then the left cord, you're gonna bring it up around and through also on the inside. And then tighten it all up. And then you're gonna cross the outer cords behind again. And again, you're gonna bring the right cord up and around and through the loop on the right. And the left cord up around and through the loop on the left. And then tighten it up. And then you just repeat that going back and forth. So for this next one, we're going to cross on the back and then bring the right cord up and through in the center and bring the left cord up and through also in the center. So you're just going to alternate back and forth, bringing the cords up either on the left and right sides or in the center, alternating each time. Here's how it'll look on the front when you're finished, and here's how it looks on the back. Next is the six strand endless falls knot. You'll start with three ropes attached to your dowel with lark's head knots. Take the two outer cords and cross them in front. Then you're going to take the two inside cords on the right and bring them up and over and through the loop. And then you're going to take the two cords from the inside on the left and bring them up over and through the loop. Then pull those crossed over cords to tighten it all up. Then you're going to repeat that and cross your cords in the front again and bring the two right inside cords up and over and through the loop and your two inside left cords up and over and through the loop. And you're just going to repeat that over and over again to complete your six strand endless falls knot. It's just the same as the first endless falls knot we learned, but with extra cords. how 
how it'll look after you repeat the pattern a few times. And last we have the small circle sennet. Start with two ropes attached to your dowel with lark's head knots, cross over the two outside cords in front, and bring the right cord up and over and through on the right, and the left cord up and over and through on the left for a regular endless false knot. Then just tighten it up. Next, we're gonna tie a double half hitch knot on the left. So you're gonna use the leftmost cord as your filler cord and your inner left cord as your working cord. So tie one half hitch knot and then bring it around one more time for the second half hitch. So there's your double half hitch on the left and then you're gonna do the same thing on the right. So the rightmost cord is the filler cord and the inner right cord is the working cord. And you just do one half hitch and then bring it around one more time for the second part of the double half hitch. So there's your two double half hitch knots. Then you're gonna cross those two outer cords in the front again and do one more endless falls knot, bringing them through on each side and tightening it up. And that is one repeat of the small circle senate pattern. So to repeat it, then after that last endless falls knot, you're gonna do another double half hitch knot on the left, like so. And then on the right, you'll do another double half hitch knot. And then you're gonna cross your outer cords in the front and you're gonna do one more endless falls knot to finish off the second circle. Just continue alternating back and forth, doing one endless falls knot and then two double half hitch knots until the small circle senet is as long as you need it to be. after repeating the pattern four times. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like and be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks for watching.